Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and in this session I'm going to go very basic and from scratch we will learn how to create and run a Maven project and how exactly to run the MVN test command. So I will be going from very scratch step by step. I have my Eclipse open here so you can also get your Eclipse ready and just in case you do not have Eclipse uh, this is what we are going to use and you can also go to my website that is automationstepbystep.com and if you go to the online courses link you will find the video on how to uh, get Eclipse and download and set up Eclipse so if you scroll down you will find a playlist for Java so this is just in case you do not have Eclipse already set up you can go to this Java playlist and here I have created videos on Eclipse how to download and set up Eclipse so you can see we have this uh, video here getting started with the Eclipse IDE uh, so assuming that now you have Eclipse you can go here and go to file and new and here I have this option Maven project just in case you do not find this option here you can go to other and start typing Maven so you should find a option for Maven project now just in case you do not see this Maven project option that means you are using a really old version of Eclipse because from the from many recent versions Maven is already deployed uh, in Eclipse otherwise you will have to go and get the plugin for Maven but I am assuming that you are using a version of Eclipse that has Maven so you can go and click here Maven project and say next and then I will say uh, create a simple project skip archetype selection this is not required usually and uh, this is the workspace or this is the folder where this will be stored so you can uh, change this if you want but let me just keep this as it is and then I will say next now here we have to give a group ID and artifact ID so you can give any name here I will say hello world uh, and this is let me say hello world Raghav hello world Raghav here and I will say finish and you can see this has come here now you can also see I am using a package explorer here and if I expand this project this is how it looks like you should also find a pom file here pom.xml and just in case you are not seeing this kind of a view that means you are looking at a project explorer so you can go here to the quick access and if I say start typing project explorer you can see it comes here so if you are using a project explorer you will get this type kind of a view and if you are using package explorer you will get this type of a view so if you are not using package you are not seeing package explorer here you can again start typing package explorer and you will see this is package explorer and you can get this so now I have got this pom.xml file go here and here we have to add dependencies so whatever test framework you are using uh, you can add the dependency accordingly so the your common testing frameworks we use with Java projects is JUnit or TestNG so if you go to Maven Central or the Maven repository I will go to Maven Central this is the URL I will go here and if you just search for JUnit you can see we have this JUnit here you can go here and get the dependencies or let me say TestNG here you can use any testing framework this is TestNG and if you go here you can see the TestNG dependencies I will go with the latest version as of now and this is the Maven dependency here so you can see this here I'll just need to copy this if I click it is already copied to clipboard I will go to my pom.xml file now take care here you can see we have a project tag here or a uh, this project starting and end of project tag here I will go here and just before the project tag or this parameter you have to say dependencies 
it also gives auto suggestion here dependencies if you double click here it has completed the start and end tag of dependencies now inside this you have to copy and paste the dependency for your library in this case i am using test ng so make sure this should come under dependencies and this is how it looks like now and you can also select everything using control a if you are on mac you can use command a and then you can press control i or command i to correct the identification and now if you go to the you can see as of now we do not have the maven libraries here if you see here you do not see any maven library folder if i now save my project you can save from here from here or just press ctrl s on your keyboard you can see now we have got this maven dependencies and if i expand this we have got our test ng so this is the best thing with maven it will now take care of all the dependencies you do not have to manually download and set up anything even if you take this project to any other system you just have to compile or save your project there and then it will take care of all the dependencies it will download and set up all the libraries and you do not have to do anything manually so you can see all the test ng libraries are here so now i will go to my folder because i want to create a test i will go to my src test java folder here or i can also go from here src test or let me just go here do a right click and i will create a new class here i will go to others and search for a class yes it is here i will create a java class now let me say now here uh, because we are we want to create a uh, the test here let me start the name with test so the naming conventions matter sometimes so i will say test hello world and let me keep all the other things as it is if you want to generate a public static void method automatically you can check this as of now i will just keep it as it is and say finish and i have got this class now i have to create a function so i will say public void and let me start the name with test again uh, this matters and i will say hello world and inside this function i'm going to create a print statement so i can say s y s o and if i press control spacebar on my keyboard it is auto completing the print command that is system dot out dot println and inside this i will give the quotes and say hello world so this will print this hello world when i run this test and now i have to run this so also i have to give the annotation because this is a test i will give at test and if i press control space bar now on my keyboard you can see it is showing me this option to get the annotation from org.testng.annotations and this is uh, showing here only after you have added the libraries or the maven dependencies if you have not added the maven dependency for testng this option will not be shown and also you can see it has imported the annotation from testng if you are using junit dependency it you can take it from junit as well but as of now i have used testng so now i will save my project and now i can run it as a maven test i will go to my project folder here and then go to the run button here and say run as and you can see i have got these options i have got maven build maven clean maven install and also i have maven test i will also show you how to do it from command line but let us first do from the id so let me first do a maven clean before i do a maven test i will say maven clean and let us see the output if i go to the console everything is fine now i will go to run again and say run as maven test and let us see the console and here it is saying failure uh, so it is saying no compiler is provided in this environment 
and here it says perhaps you are running a GRE rather than a JDK so I think uh, this is pointing to a JRE rather than a JDK now just in case you want to know the difference uh, whenever you want to uh, compile or run Java applications you need a JDK if you just want to use a Java application JR is enough uh, I have explained all the details and differences in my Java playlist so here you can see this is the for this is the video just in case you want to get extra knowledge about this uh, and also if you do not have JDK on your system I have a video for that as well if you are on Windows you can watch this how to install Java on Windows if you are on Mac you can watch this video so let me just go and check on my system if I go to C program files I have a Java folder here and I have a JRE and a JDK as well so basically I should uh, my Eclipse should point to this so let me just go here and check so you can go to Windows preferences and go to we should be having yeah we have Java here if you go to Java we should be having option for GREs if I go to installed GREs so you can see as of now it is pointing to GRE it should point to JDK so I can click on add here or the other way is I can also go and do a right click on my project folder here and say go to build path and say add uh, let me go to configure build path and here if I go to libraries you can see it is using JRE so I can go here and say add library and GRE system library next and I will click on installed JREs it will again it is again taking me to that window now I will click on add here and say next <coughs> and I will say here click on directory and browse to my JDK folder which is C program files Java JDK in my case select the folder and say finish and now you can see I have got the JDK and I will start using this JDK instead of the JRE apply and close and now it is using this JDK if I want I can remove this but let me just try it out once I will again go to run and run as maven test and let me see the console now so now this is running fine and you can see it is running our test and it is printing hello world here now this is fine this is running fine from the uh, ID the Eclipse ID I also want to run this from the command line so I will go to the command line <laughs> if you are on Mac you can go to your terminal I'm on Windows so I'm going to my command prompt and first we have to go to the folder of this project the project folder so here in my case this project is stored here <coughs> let me go to my D projects Eclipse and this is my project folder here so on the command line I will first go to D drive and then CD and the project folder so now I have to run the command so I will say mvn test or I can say mvn clean first and if I run this now in my case this is running fine just in case if you run this command and you say you get something like command not found that means maven is not installed on your system so if you want to run maven from command line maven should be installed on the system and again for that uh, you can check my tutorial on maven if you go to the maven section here I have a step-by-step -step video on how to install and set up maven on Windows as well as if you are on Mac you can watch this so basically you can go to your command line and run the command mvn 
space hyphen version first and if you are getting this maven version that means it is fine otherwise if you are getting command not found or something else that means maven is not set up and you can watch this video i will also provide the link in the description of this video so now i can run the command mvn test and this is running fine until now and yes you can see it is running our test it is also printing hello world here and this is everything is fine build is success also you can now uh, put this project or store this project on a repository like github uh, if you want to put this on github you can do that i have a video on that as well if you just search for how to store or how to push eclipse project to github you will find my video here and yes you can see uh, this is the video i had created earlier i will also provide this link just in case you want to store this project on github and you can do that and this is how you can create and run a maven project and maven test using eclipse i hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching